housing development program number one and the best in Nigeria, Africa and the globe. A platform for housing champions and stakeholders, solid ground for builders, manufacturers delight, distributors of building materials, furnitures and interior decorators, carriers of best current and trending info on housing matters. Housing Development Program, showcasing your brand to the world. Welcome back. On the Home Buyer Education segment, I had a chat with Abiodun Adedede, the MD of Ireclay Products. Watch the interview. Housing Development Program is an encyclopedia on housing matters. You're welcome back. This is the Home Buyer Education segment, and today we'll be talking on the topic. Bond breaks as an alternative to concrete blocks in the building industry. With me in the studio is the MD of Ire Clay Product Limited, Mr. Biodun Adedeji. Nice having you on the program, sir. Thank you. Now let's look at um, the bond break as an alternative to the concrete blocks. What do you think is the advantages of this when it comes to the building industry? Well, the the bond break has been advantages over some concrete blocks. One of the advantages is. Uh, is cost effective, most especially for public projects. You know, in this part of this world, we do not have good maintenance culture, either at the short or medium time. When you use bonds brick for short or medium, you don't need to maintain either through repainting or replastering. Because in that other world, you don't even plaster and you don't even paint. Uh, so it reduces the cost of maintaining. Now that the cost of cement has risen, uh, it has made the prices of certain block to also go. And um, again, you are talking about the weather resistance. Uh, sometimes when you use the the sacred block, you find mucus outside the wall. But in terms of uh, for the bond bricks, uh, it's water resistance. And the most important one is fire resistance. <coughs> in, in, the, in some northern states, it's a matter of law that when you want to build markets, you use bond brick. Not just because of the aesthetic value, but because of the fire resistance. When there's fire outbreak, probably it's only the roofing and maybe your your uh, my, your properties inside the buildings that you are going to lose. But the, the brick will still stand because it has passed through. Uh, a lot of fire. Okay, with all those qualities that you've mentioned and with the affordability and availability of this clay product, yeah. we still find out that it's still very unpopular in the in the building industry. What factors do you think are responsible for this? Yeah. Uh, you see, when you go to the developed countries, that's what they used to build their 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 to construct their properties. But here because one to set up a plant for bronze brick uh, you you may need close to four billion naira minimum. It's capital intensive to have a, a plant of a of a, a bond brick, and you need also to have a very good management of grant to be able to load that plant. Okay, now for what message you have for estate developers that would rather prefer the Sand Creek to the Bond Brick? What would be your advice to them? Well, the advice I'll give to them is that when you try Bond Brick, the frustration that people that they, are, they, they, they experience is because they do not discuss with the producers of this Bond Brick. So I would advise them that once you put it in your plan, that you have finalized your plan with your architect, and bond brick is part of the thing you are going to use. Engage the producer that in the next two months, three months, I will need you. So that it will be part of the project plan. Not that you start your, your project and you not get to a level, you not remember the producer. Put the producer of a uh, bond brick as part of the project team. So that when you, are, you, you start your project, you engage them and you, and you discuss. And I can assure them, the issue of building collapse will be a thing of the you will forget about it in this country when you use bond brick. Yes, my guest has been Mr. Biodun Adedeji, the MD of Ireclay Products Limited. I'll see you right after this timeout. 
Are you ready, Nigeria, for the largest home expo in West Africa? The 11th Abuja Housing Show, coming through from the 17th to the 19th of July 2017. At the International Conference Center, Abuja, Nigeria, the show will feature a stakeholders' conference on financing affordable housing, presentation and exhibition of new building technology, mortgage services, and other housing products. This event is powered by Fesadev Communications, owners of housing program on AIT, NTA, and housing time on Raypower. For bookings, inquiries, and advert placement, call 816 657 0090 or 0806-458-9303. Abuja Housing Show, the largest homes and construction industry exhibition in West Africa. 